Hey everybody, this is Sterling McGarvey. Gary Steinman. And we just finished up at the Microsoft E3 2012 press briefing. So, hour and 45 minutes, nice blueprint of uh, what Microsoft's got planned for 2012 and beyond. What'd you think? So I think my, the two most exciting things are, are what came at the very beginning and at the very end. Splinter Cell looked brilliant. I mean, it's my first uh, sighting of it. Just looked fast, fluid, exciting. They wrapped it up with Black Ops 2. That looks great. I knew what to expect there, but it still really was a nice capper on the show. What about you? What were your highlights? I would say uh, Splinter Cell was one of them. I like the fact that it kind of went back to the traditional Sam Fisher. Mm -hmm. um, Conviction was kind of a detour. I thought it, I kind of liked the urban setting. It was very Bourne-ish, but it seems like they're trying to like wed that stealth element into the combat that they had that they introduced in Conviction. So it was nice to see kind of the old and the new lumped together. I'm pretty excited for that. Um, also, I mean, Halo 4 looks fantastic. Oh yeah. 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 What, a, what, sorry, oh, sure. what about better with Connect? That was like the big theme, and you're a sports guy. I'm not as much of a sports guy. You get to shout plays at the uh, at, at your favorite soccer or football, as you like to call it. Or football. it's America, it's yeah. soccer. Yeah. Um, so I noticed with FIFA, that's kind of what I was hoping for last year when they said they were going to do Connect integration with Madden and FIFA. I said it would be nice as I'm trying to like control my players with the stick to not have to shift my thumb off to the D-pad and lose all my momentum to try to say, okay you know, send all your defenders back because we're about to get, you know, we're about to get hit really, really hard. It's nice to just be able to kind of just say, hey, fall back. Right. You know, there's a counter coming. Just get everybody in front of the goalkeeper. So I think that's going to be a nice feature. Um, I really like kind of the multimedia integration. I'm excited about the sports stuff. I'm excited you're going to have NBA. You know, I'm out of market. I'm right. a Lakers fan, which most people hold against me. But the fact that I'll be able to watch Lakers games out of market, streaming on my Xbox, the fact that I can watch... On any, uh, on any device too, right? You could now with, uh, what are they calling it again? I've the, uh, the smart glass. I, I have to check my notes. Oh, yeah. And the, radar. and then the smart glass, uh, it seems like there's going to be a lot of cool potential there. I mean, I know that people want it to be more about the games, but I, Microsoft's been kind of positioning themselves as this kind of multimedia hub for a long time now. So the fact that yeah. they're doing this. Right, right. I mean, they're proving it to be the case. Uh, it kind of led to a, a, an interesting middle of the conference where it was a lot of casual games, a lot of Kinect games. Of course, with a, a bit of Resident Evil 6 thrown in there for, for, for a nice bit of uh, hardcore gaming uh, goodness. But yeah, this is really the centerpiece of your home entertainment, but it's not the centerpiece of your living room. It goes with you anywhere, and that's pretty exciting. I'm really, really excited for that. I think there's a lot of potential there. And um, to me, the biggest upswing of this press conference at least we don't have to worry about spending hundreds of dollars on a new system anytime soon. Oh yeah, that, that's probably my most exciting thing. Not even a hint of the next Xbox. Thank goodness, I'm not ready. No, neither am I, not yet. At least there's good games coming. Right. And there's still a lot of life. And, and we got to see Usher, who, who knew? You went to high school with him apparently, or he went to your high school? He totally went to my high school, fun fact. So anyway, we're wrapping up here from the Microsoft E3 2012 media briefing. We'll be back with you for the rest of the media briefings throughout the day. Stay tuned to GamesRadar.com. Thanks. Bye.